What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dub Q, and I would like to welcome you to Between the Lines Podcast. You already see it. You know what time it is. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, subscribe to the channel, show that love, and just pull on up and be a part of the network. Uh, without further ado, you already see it. Is Tanner McKee a possibility for the Panthers at quarterback? So, with this being said, I pose the question for a reason. There is no secrets in Carolina right now that we are looking for a quarterback. We're in search of a quarterback on our roster currently. As you see, we're only going to have Matt Corral going forward uh, via signing any free option agents. Uh, so with that being said, the Carolina Panthers and Frank Rich, the new head coach, will be looking towards the future. And what that would mean for the Panthers is drafting a quarterback. You already know what time it is. So uh, I wanted to do this video because I wanted to pose a scenario where we get started talking about the conversations for quarterbacks coming in through the door. Um, and this is a hypothetical that I want to pose to you guys because Tanner McKee, you see him, the quarterback of Stanford. He is a six foot six, 230 pound quarterback. Um, I want to pose this as if we're talking about Bryce Young is already off the clock. Uh, CJ Stroud has already been taken. Now with the recent trade that's happened with New Orleans, <laughs> they just received the first round pick. So you got to kind of look at those guys. They'll be receiving a high draft, well, a mid draft pick uh, for their position. So the Texans kind of, I mean, I'm not the Texans, but the Broncos kind of gave up you know, a little bit of leeway to those guys, but now in our division, they'll be moving up to try to get a first round pick and I expect them to fully take a quarterback. So with that being said, what does that mean if we don't get CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, Will Levis, or Anthony Richardson? To me, those are the top four quarterbacks in this draft. Uh, those are guys that you could plug in right now and say, hey, under Frank Rich, those are possibly guys that you can get take your direction or your franchise in the right direction and when i say that granted those there are two guys that could come in right now and possibly start for the panthers and that being said is cj stroud and bryce young those are two guys that could start immediately now i know you guys are a little leery of taking a quarterback that would have to sit and i believe that anthony richardson is one of those guys that if you take him, he may have to sit a little bit while you go out and get a bridge quarterback in free agency until he's quite ready under Frank Rich to go forward. You want to make sure that he's comfortable and in a system where he can show and flourish his athleticism and skill set. Uh, that's the thing about getting Anthony Richardson. Uh, you got other guys like uh, Will Levis. Uh, you pull a plug on this guy and you got to look around and see okay will he start immediately i believe that he will but in the event if all four of those guys are off the board do you look to another guy like who will be sitting there which is the fifth best quarterback tanner mckee from stanford university i said it's worth looking at because one with this guy you know first of all frank rich loves those stanford quarterbacks andrew luck that's all I, that's all i'm gonna say he had another quarterback from that same place. So this guy has the prototypical size. He has the build. He has the strong arm. He has a variety of arm angles from which he can deliver the ball. But does that mean he is a smooth passer or a pocket passer? To me, I don't think so. And watching the film on this guy, He's six foot six. He's a real tall quarterback, but to me, he gives me Jared Goff vibes. And there's nothing wrong with Jared Goff before anybody freak out. There's nothing wrong with Jared Goff. But what I'm saying is, is for me, his tallness, his linkiness kind of makes him look a little awkward, which makes it kind of hard for him to create create outside of the pocket. Which for quarterbacks in this new day and age, create creating outside of the pocket is very big for a quarterback. Um, you know, the inconsistencies too with the ball placement is something else that you got to look at too, because if you want a guy to come in 
You want him to be able to deliver that ball and put it right between the numbers. And sometimes he struggles with that because he has this side arm motion. I don't know how do you describe it, but it's like a side fling that he do. And, it, and it's very awkward looking, but like I said, his footwork is why he throws and releases the ball like that. To me, I look at his footwork and he does not set his feet when he go to make a throw. He just pushes it off of his back foot. Uh, we've had a quarterback in here that we dealt with for nine years that threw just like that. Now, I, I don't want to call any names, but you guys know who I'm talking about. So, with Tanner McKee, right now, his mechanics is his number one knock. Um, you know your boy Dub Hughes is going to get down to it if we're going to get to it. I, like I said, he has the size. He has the build. He has the arm talent. But he does not have, I'll say, the footwork that is needed for a guy of his stature, of his size, to really maneuver around in the pocket. Because right now at Stanford, it's good for him to, you know, move around a little bit and be a little bit of mobile, but he, he seems like a statue in the pocket that that I hate to say, I hate to call him Tom Brady in the pocket, which a lot of people know with Brady, the, the, the reason why you never really get to him is because he's so smart and he gets that ball out so fast. But this guy is the exact opposite. I mean, I looked at him in a couple of his highlights and I was like, get the ball out. You, you move it too slow. I don't think that that release is going to allow him to really get on the NFL level and make some noise. I, I, for me, it's a hard no. I mean, like I said, six foot six, 230 pounds, and he's from a scheme fit of the West Coast style. Um, a lot of people compare him to Mike Glennon. And Mike Glennon, the old guy from Tampa Bay, that they, they used to be the quarterback down there for a while, and then he turned into a journeyman. That's your comparison. I even was trying to be nice enough to give him Jared Goff. But with that being said, for me, it's a hard no. Um, but for a guy like Frank Rich coming into his first draft, I don't think he would overlook this guy. If all four of those other guys were off the board, I believe he would plug and take this guy because in his mind, he'd probably say, I can take this guy and mold him into what I want. And for me, that would be a sign of us spiraling in the wrong direction if we start off with a guy like this. It's just me being honest. Not to say that Tanner McKee won't be able to develop into something nice, but I'm saying that I don't really have time for is what I'm saying. So without further ado, I mean, I broke it down for you with this guy. Like I said, the arm talent is there. Um, the arm strength is not necessarily beautiful, but he can make passes as just sideways, funny, awkward looking passes. And like I said, the footwork for me is just not there. I mean, he looks a little, like I said, look like he's just running with center blocks on his feet to me. That's just me personally. So I'm out on Tanner McKee. I don't think the possibility would be strong here in Carolina to bring him in because like I said, you want a guy that you can really grow and develop with. And to me, it would take so much to get him up to a par or a level where he could play on the NFL level and really flourish. That's just me in my opinion, though. Look, this has been your boy Dub Q, man. You already know what time it is. We broke down Tanner McKee just now. If you like more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, show that love, and I'll be keeping them coming. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Welcome to Between the Lines Podcast.